Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, I just uh, went in and saw my Instagram and saw that Keanu Reeves had <laughs> liked my last post. <laughs> this is hilarious. I know, I know it's not the real Keanu Reeves, but it kind of made me laugh. But uh, I posted this painting right here inspired by Lisa Wang, one of her barista compositions. And uh, I actually did some um, footage of uh, the making of this but lost the end because I was having a, a long painting session and then when I finished that and wanted to press save my computer had run out of memory and did not record um, that long last bit of um, this painting but I think I got enough footage to show the most critical areas which is the um, the wet the vest and the face uh, so I think I'm gonna upload this to YouTube anyway <laughs> so um, it's gonna be uh, an abrupt ending video because of the lost footage but I'll try and do a, a voiceover and take you through the painting session yeah so uh, I started to do the sketch and um, I watched Lisa Wang's. It was actually uh, half of a tutorial because she used it to sell one of her online classes. So she took you through parts of the painting and then didn't finish it off. So um, yeah, I just uh, got inspired by that bit that I watched and thought that I would try and, and play with this fun composition of a barista making coffee in a coffee shop. Um, I'm working on 300 GSM watercolor paper and I'm using Daniel Smith and I'm using the one called, um, what is it called? I think it's Shadow Moon. Yeah, Shadow Moon. It granul granulates a lot. I think it's the one that got the PBK11 pigments in it. So it's got like big chunks of granulation. So I had to mix it up a little bit with a black that I made uh, that I tinted up with neutral tint just on places where I did not want that heavy granulation from the PBK11. Um, I used masking fluid on this one. Lisa Wang also used masking fluid on hers and what I love about her composition is that she highlights parts like wires and um, um, highlights from glasses and especially the shirt, the white shirt. So to keep the white super white, right, <laughs> I used masking fluid. But I, I definitely don't enjoy using masking fluid on such a small uh, piece like this because there are so many tiny details and can you imagine having to put masking fluid on tiny fingers like in this painting here it was a peer and it never really looks good when I peel it off so I think if I want to repaint this barista scene once more that I would um, do it on a much larger sheet of paper so that my drawing would be bigger and it would be easier for me to control where I lay down the masking fluid with the brush but but hey <laughs> I really find it disturbing and annoying to work with that masking fluid I've always uh, been battling with it uh, the whole painting is done in the beginning of a huge wet in wet scenario and that really turned me on there's nothing more likable than wet in wet when it's watercolor because that's when they can, the pigments can really dance. So, But I basically uh, just took her sketch and tried to make my rendition of it and then followed her tips. And I wasn't afraid of the colors bleeding out because it seems to me like the finished look, the table surface this barista is working on is super shiny. So it doesn't matter if some of the skin tones gives a reflection on the glass table or, you know, the table surface or the the coffee cups or anything. So, But I basically think that I was uh, really out of my comfort zone 
when I was adding in the colors for the vest because it's like super black, you know. <laughs> and uh, I had to do it in one take because uh, like Lisa Wang uh, talks about it, going back on such a dark application as this vest is, you're just going to mess it up, you know. And unfortunately, I did mess it up because I didn't follow my sketch lines on one of the arms. So I am wrestling a ton with the arm that's nearest to the viewer. <laughs> so, but yeah, you learn. I learned something from this uh, painting session. So I think I'm just going to upload it anyway to YouTube, even though there's like half missing and um, I'm not like super content with my um, contrast in this painting I think if I should redo it I would have a more darker background to make that white shirt pop lots more the colors that I used was the manganese blue for the background and then I dirty it up with some orange and then um, did the wash with that and then the coffee is made out of raw sienna and yellow ochre and the flesh tone I used a reddish red and then yellow ochre and a little bit of Hansa yellow and then there are some places where I wanted a, a blue shadow um, so I just mixed in some blue with the red and get, got that like really uh, like purplish red you could call it for the dark uh, skin tone <laughs> shadow areas but yeah it's really tiny I mean uh, I dislike I dislike painting faces and fingers in very small areas I find that you need to be like super skilled before you begin doing such a thing so if you have tried to paint fingers hands and faces a lot then it's easier to scale it down and do it in a in a tiny drawing so I definitely think that I should give this sort of composition one more try on a bigger bigger sheet but not today not today what I like about this painting is the limited color palette because there's not so much to confuse you in your mix so as soon as you got your colors laid down on your palette it's very simple to navigate you know how to to add more to remove some you know it's it's just a simple I also really like that the background is blurred out so it's just a hint of his workstation it's not detailed and I find that very likable I don't like that tiny brushwork when I'm doing watercolor it's like I I prefer the big brushes <laughs> so having that non detail uh, background and also some unfinished stuff on the table surface in front of him is just uh, likable but uh, yada yada what else to talk about <laughs> in this upload I've been absent from streams since Tour de France started we got a Dane in the yellow jersey so it's become like really interesting for us to watch but it takes up so much time and I gained so much weight just the past three weeks <laughs> we are basically snacking and sitting on the couch and not moving for four or five hours watching this Tour de France and then uh, I go directly to the kitchen and make dinner and then when dinner is done and you know cleaned away it, it the time is just gone you know and then most streamers that streams early uh, has done their streams so I'm sorry for not um, participating so much I did it Monday yesterday because that was the resting day of Tour de France <laughs> so, <laughs> but we're in the last week of Tour de France so uh, from next week off we will have normal schedule again in this house and hopefully stop binge eating so much crap while watching the TV 
oh my god I really need to just get outside but I don't feel uh, like I wasted my summer by spending three weeks on the couch watching Tour de France because the weather oh man it's been raining so much so much rain we already have had I think it's like 120% of normal ratio of rain for this month and then there's still like 12 days left so uh, it was a really really wet summer um, soon in a couple of minutes the f I will lose the footage so I better prepare myself to say goodbye now so I don't just like cut myself off <laughs> But at this stage I'm in right now with the painting is actually where her tutorial, or it wasn't like, oh you could say it was a tutorial, she ended her painting session. So I had to start, like wing it with the rest. So um, yeah, Lisa Wang, very beautiful artist. As you paint some really astonishing barista scenes. So if you like that style, you can check her out. Um, yeah, left for me to say is just take care out there, especially you guys who's got like that really hot summer going on with the more than a hundred degrees <laughs> outside. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine how it must be. But um, yeah, bye bye and thank you for watching. I wish you a nice and cool day, cool day.